Yes, good evening, guys, to all of you. I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baidu's exam prep. So, guys, today is a very very important session for the subject theory of machines. Why I am saying this is important because weightage of this subject have been more in bar examination. So, we are starting the session, guys, and today we are going to discuss the top twenty five expected questions. Okay, they are going to be from two topics. One is storm, other is vibrations. Okay, so we will be taking these two topics into consideration. And guys, uh, the subject already, you know, they are very important because from storm and vibrations, the weightage is uh, slightly higher as they are the basic and fundamental subjects. So we are starting the session. This is some detail about me. And today's subject is theory of machines. so we will see 25 questions which are of very good level and they are coming uh, the similar questions are coming in the bar exam before we start the session there is a important update that you guys are having a workshop tomorrow at 7:30 pm if you are preparing for gate 2024 if any of you are uh, junior is preparing you can uh, recommend uh, him or her for this workshop and uh, richa ma'am will be taking this session and guys this is a very important announcement as you already know that entire mechanical team we are working for you together and we are going to provide you 500 plus expected mcq questions for the bark examination and these 500 questions pdf is available in all the telegram channels of us Like mechanical by Sonu Chauhan, mechanical by Suraj Gopi, mechanical by Dhiraj Sardana, mechanical by Chandra Shekhar, and the solution, answers, everything will be provided in all the four Telegram channels. So you just join the Telegram channel to get this PDF. It's answers, it's a solution, and it will be having uh, 500 plus question means there are going to be five DPPs of 100 plus questions. So you will get 500 question. They will be equivalent to the way Bark is asking. so moving to the very uh, first question before that i am telling you tomorrow we are having the same session for production which is again a very high weighted subject now moving to the very first question guys now moving to the very first question guys so this question is from simple mechanism he is saying ab cd is a mechanism with link length ab 200 bc 300 cd 400 and da 350 so these are the link length given for a b b c c d and d a and they are saying which one of the following link should be fixed for the resulting mechanism to be a double crank mechanism so my dear uh, this question is from greshoff's law you know it is a very very important law even for gate okay so it is from greshoff's law so my dear you know for uh, greshoff's law is going to tell us when which type of mechanism will be coming so just uh, try to solve it guys i am waiting for your answer so you already know four links are given so you know the greshoff law says that s plus l should be less than or equals to p plus q and this condition must be satisfied then only the greshoff law is valid you can see the shortest link is 200 shortest link is 200 longest link is 400 p is 300 q is 350 you can see the summation of these two will be coming out to be 600 summation of these two will be coming out to be 650 which is less so obviously greshoff law is satisfied so once the greshoff law is yes aditya have given the answer very good aditya so once greshoff law is satisfied you need to see that where is our shortest link if this shortest link is at the fixed position then you will be having the double crank mechanism so as aditya have answered pre fire have answered ab will be the right answer because ab is the shortest link so if shortest link is kept fixed we will be getting double crank very good aditya very good pre fire moving to the next question this is from crank and slotted lever or any quick return motion mechanism this is a good one you will have this type of question in the exam for sure you can see a quick return mechanism is to be designed where outward stroke must consume 1.2 second return stroke 0.8 second from here you can find out the cycle time cycle time is 1.2 plus 0.8 
it will be 2 seconds. This is cycle time. And uh, they are saying if the cycle time is 2 seconds per revolution, okay, they have mentioned also. What is the speed at which the mechanism should be driven? So, you need to answer the speed in revolution per second or minute. So, I feel you know when this is given that the cycle time is 2 seconds. Can you try this? Anybody for this question? Yes. Anybody? So, you can find out the omega of crank. When you will find out the omega of crank, what it will be? Omega of crank. So, omega of crank will be coming out to be 1 upon the cycle time. So, you can find out omega of crank. And after that, you already know that. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me, tell me Aditya, what will be the answer? Free fire, what will be the answer for this? So, you are given that 0.8 second and 1.2 second are the time consuming forward and backward stroke. So, 2 second is the time for one revolution. So, you need to answer what is the speed? What is the speed? Very good, Abhi. Abhi have given the answer 30. Array by when you will be doing this, you will be getting 0.5. Okay. What is 0.5? You will get 0.5 revolution per second. This is what you are getting. So, if you will be finding out the speed, it will be coming out to be 30 revolution per minute. Because if aadhe minute mein, agar ek, ek minute mein aadha revolution ho raha hai, to obviously baat hai, 60 second mein 30 revolution ho ge. Answer iska ho jayega D. Very good. Abhi, moving to the next question. This is from elliptical tremel. ये इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रेमल का क्वेश्चन है देखते हैं कितने लोग इस क्वेश्चन का आंसर सही देते हैं यस yes, अभी आदित्य एंड फ्री फायर ट्राई टू आंसर दिस और इस तरह का क्वेश्चन बार्क में ऑलरेडी आ भी चुका है ठीक है इन एन इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रेमल द लेंथ ऑफ द लिंक कनेक्टेड द टू स्लाइडर इज 100 एमएम ये आपको दी हुई है मैं थोड़ा सा आपके लिए फिगर बना देता हूं ये एक स्लाइडर है ये दूसरा स्लाइडर है और ये उन दोनों को ज्वाइन करने वाला लिंक ए बी है और ये आपको दे दिया गया है कि जो ए बी लेंथ है दैट इज 100 एम ये आपको दे दी गई है और ट्रेस पॉइंट जो है वो 150 फिफ्टी एम एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द लिंक पे है तो अगर इस लिंक को ऐसे एक्सटेंड कर दू और यहां पर कोई पॉइंट पी है और ये एक्सटेंशन 150 फिफ्टी mm एम है ठीक है और ये 100 एम mm है ये आपको दिया है ये पॉइंट पी है और आपसे पूछ रहा है कि मेजर एंड माइनर एक्सेस क्या होगी आपको बतानी है मेजर एंड माइनर एक्सेस देखते हैं कितने लोग सही आंसर करते हैं ये आपका पॉइंट है जिस पे आपने पेन या पेंसिल रखा है आपको पता है ए बी लाइन के ऊपर कहीं भी वेयर एवर वी विल पुट ए पेन और पेंसिल दैट विल दैट विल गिव अस एन इलिप्स दैट इज व्हाई द नेम ऑफ मैकेनिज्म इज इलिप्टिकल ट्रेमल सो यू नीड टू टेल वट विल बी द मेजर एंड माइनर एक्सेस वट विल बी द मेजर एंड माइनर एक्सेस अभी आदित्य फ्री फायर वट वुड बी द आंसर क्या आंसर होगा जल्दी बताइए आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर आंसर गाइस ओके फ्री फायर इज से आंसर इज बी वेरी गुड फ्री फायर वेरी गुड फ्री फायर यस चलिए देखते कैसे सॉल्व होगा ये तो सबसे पहले आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट कि वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेमी मेजर एंड सेमी माइनर सेमी मेजर एंड सेमी माइनर एक्सिस देन सेमी मेजर एंड सेमी माइनर एक्सिस आर टू ए एंड टू बी हेयर वट इज ए एंड बी ए एंड बी आर ए पी एंड बी पी सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट दिस ए पी इज वन फिफ्टी एंड बी पी इज टू फिफ्टी सो यू विल से वन फिफ्टी का टू टाइम्स इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री हंड्रेड एंड टू फिफ्टी का टू टाइम इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव हंड्रेड Is it clear or not? So 300 and 500 is present in option C. Here, what mistake student make? They do not multiply it with two. If you will not be multiplying it with two, you will get the wrong answers. Yes, are you getting it? Free fire. Abhi Aditya, समझ में आया कैसे करना होता है? Because if you remember, if we are going to pl plot an ellipse, then my dear, this total distance is two times of a. And this total distance is two times of B. So because of that reason, my dear, as these distances are two A and two B, the answer is going to be five hundred and three hundred mm. C is going to be the right answer for this question, my dear. 
वंडरफुल गाइस बहुत ही बढ़िया मूव करते हैं अगले क्वेश्चन की तरफ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम कैम अब माय डियर हा 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 फ्री फायर सो दे आर आस्किंग यू द मेजर ओके सेमी विल बी हाफ यस सेमी मेजर एंड माइनर एक्सिस आर ए एंड बी एंड व्हेन यू विल गो फॉर मेजर एंड माइनर इट इज टू ए एंड टू बी टू ए एंड टू बी आर मेजर एंड माइनर ओके यस यू आर करेक्ट फाइन मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए कैम रोटेटिंग विद यूनिफॉर्म एंगुलर बिलोस्टी पुशिज इट्स फ्लैट फेस रेडियल फॉलोवर अपवर्ड The nature of the upward displacement of the follower with respect to angle of cam rotation is cycloidal. So, up you it is given that displacement diagram is cycloidal, and they are asking what will be the shape of acceleration diagram. This is what they are asking. So, you can see which is going to be the right answer for this. Sure, Vineet, you can talk to me. Ah, uh, you can talk to me tomorrow. Okay. हा तीन बजे के बाद टुमोरो यू कैन कॉल मी ओके यस टेल मी व्हाट विल बी द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन आदित्य फ्री फायर विनीत अभी क्या होगा इसका आंसर दे हैव गिवन दैट मोशन इज गोइंग टू बी साइक्लोइडल सो व्हाट विल बी द एक्सेलरेशन डायग्राम एक्सेलरेशन डायग्राम का नेचर इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट यस यू कैन सी ऑप्शन आर देयर दिस इज A, B, C, and D. I feel you may be remembering it. I would like to say those who do not remember. Okay, Aditya is saying the answer to be A. Okay, Aditya is saying A is the answer. Okay, Vinith is saying D. So I would like to tell you guys when we are using cycloidal profile, velocity follows sine square, and acceleration follows sine. Okay. so why sin because sin square will be 2 sin into cos and 2 into sin into cos is sin 2 theta so it is going to be followed this one so it is going to be sin 2 theta it is sin square theta so you will be having the answer to be c so answer is not a not d it's a c very good guys so yahi to that is why if you will give right answer you will get confidence wrong answer you will get some new information or you will learn something new moving to next question from cam here the displacement x theta diagram is given to us and you need to answer about the jerk i feel everybody is aware if we want to find out velocity it will be ds by dt for acceleration dv by dt for jerk D A by D T. So guys, tell me what is going to be the right answer for this. <coughs> great, great, we need. So just solve it and get the answer. And guys, do like and share the session. I don't know why students are not taking. Uh, yes, yes, Abhi. The bark preparation very seriously because bark is one of the very good option for the student. If you have not done well in gate, this is the golden opportunity for you. Same syllabus of gate, same level, okay, and cut off is going to be less than fifty percent. What else is required? Yes. So let us see how many of you give the right answer for this. And you must also be aware of one thing that d theta by d t is given as omega. Okay, keep that. also in mind okay i feel some of you have answered it so if you are going to differentiate it for the first time obviously it is x given as a function of theta so you will differentiate with respect to t then you will be getting dx by dt dx by dt can be written as dx by d theta into d theta by dt and you know d theta by dt is omega so you will be getting omega times dx by d theta for dx by d theta you need to differentiate it when you will differentiate it here you will get 10 okay so you will be getting omega into 10 plus 240 theta plus 4500 theta square plus 8000 theta cube Plus twenty five hundred into five theta four. 
This is how you will do. When you will differentiate three times, when you will differentiate three times consecutively, after velocity you will get acceleration, then you will get jerk. Then my dear, you will get the answer to be what? Yes, what you will be getting as the answer? Okay, this was question number, let me check. Question number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For question number 5, the answer is coming out to be A. Is it clear? Everybody is getting A. Free fire, Abhi, Aditya, everybody is getting A. Yes, answer is A. Moving further, my dear, to question number 6. This is question number 6. The displacement and velocity diagram of a cam and pullover mechanism are shown. Where they are shown? They are shown here. So, this is displacement, this is velocity. And what they are saying for these diagrams? Which of the following statements are correct? The acceleration of the follower at the beginning and at the end of each stroke will be zero. The follower remains at rest in the dwell period. During DE period, the motion of the follower is retarding. You can see this is DE period. This is DE period. So, my dear, you can see the options once again. Acceleration of the follower at the beginning and at the end of the each stroke will be zero. Okay, acceleration at A and at E, they are saying will be zero. So, they are saying acceleration at A and D will be zero. They have not given acceleration diagram. Second statement, they are saying the follower remains at rest at the dwell period. And third, they are saying in the DE period, the motion is retarding. So, out of these three, which statements are correct? Very good. Abhi, Abhi have said first is wrong. Second is correct. What about third one? Third is wrong. Yes. So, what will be the answer for you guys? What will be the answer for you? What will be the answer for you? Very good. Free fire and Abhi. Answer will be C. Only second statement is correct. This type of questions are very common in the exam like bark. Moving further to the next case. This is from balancing now. A system of rotating masses is in dynamic balance when there does not exist any resultant centrifugal force only. There does not exist any resultant couple only. There does not exist centrifugal force and couple both. There exist both force as well as couple. So what will be the answer? Very good Abhi. So this is the question. Uh, I feel this is question number what? Question number 7. Tell me what is the right answer for this. So guys, you can see every day these sessions of 25 question is going on. Along with that, we are sh uh, sharing 500 plus questions with you. So it means you are going to get more than 1000 questions from our side. Because DPP questions and these questions are different. Okay. Yes, pre-fire, Aditya, Vineet. What should be the answer for this one? Aditya is saying D. Dear, he is saying dynamic balance. So, when dynamic balance is there, so balance simply means that there is no net force and no net moment. So, answer will be C for this. So, answer is C for this. Very good, Abhi. Moving to question number 8, this is from epicyclic gear train, epicyclic gear train, you need to answer the speed of gear B, you can go for algebraic method, you can go for tabular method as well, let us see how many of you will give the right answer for this question, yes try to solve it guys. Try to solve it. I am waiting for your answer. I am waiting for your answer. Try to solve it guys. Yes. So, I feel you know A and B are the mating gears. So, we can write N A minus N R divided by 
बी माइनस एन आर माइनस ऑफ टी बी बाई टी एयर टी इज द नंबर ऑफ टी एन विल बी द स्पीड ही सेइंग दैट ए हैज सेवेंटी फाइव टी बी हैव ट्वेंटी फाइव सो माइनस ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय सेवेंटी फाइव ए इज फिक्सड He is saying a is fixed. It means n a is going to be zero. N a will be zero, and arm makes five revolutions. So n arm can be kept as five. It is not mentioned in which direction. So tell me what will be the answer. Okay, the question number eight. Yes, very good. When you will solve it, you will be getting n b to be twenty rpm. so answer will be c you can go for tabular method you can go for algebraic method for objective question algebraic method will give you fast answers question number 9 from flywheel we have very good questions from flywheel very good swapnil bahut badhiya so swapnil this is question number 9 in front of you here the question is from the stresses okay i feel you are aware in the flywheel centrifugal stresses are given as rho v ka square so you need to use this this is given to you and density is given to you you need to find out the maximum velocity solve it and get the answer this is from the design of flywheel yes swapnil abhi aditya free fire what will be the answer for this this is question number 9 question number 9 yes so guys we are still left with 15 more questions total number of questions are 25 yes do like and share the session guys so that other student can also get the benefit abhi have given the answer to be 60 meter per second and yes dear the answer is correct 60 meters per second is the right answer okay how you will get it you will get it as square root of sigma c by rho we already know what is sigma c is 25.2 into 10 to the power 6 then we have 7 gram per centimeter 7 gram per centimeter square it is okay you need to go for the unit conversion because it is newton per meter square now so after unit conversion you will be getting 60 meter per second okay very good very good very good guys bahut badhiya swapnil bahut badhiya aditya moving further to question number 10 and this is a wonderful question here t theta diagram is a triangle and they have said this is our mean torque okay they have not said actually we need to calculate the mean torque okay so we need to calculate the mean torque actually so they have mentioned nothing about that but this is the triangle given so how you will solve it the given figure shows the turning moment diagram the mean speed of prime mover is 2 pi radian per second omega mean is given as 2 pi they have given the mass moment of inertia as 0.1 kg meter square what is the coefficient of fluctuation of energy ce is given as delta e upon e so my dear to find out delta e you need to find out the mean torque first and what is the way to find out mean torque you need to see this area total area so you will write total area is t mean into 0 to 2 pi so you will be getting the value of t mean first calculate the mean torque when you will get the mean torque you will be getting the delta e then delta e you will be finding out and e is half i omega mean ka square you need to take the ratio try to solve it very good abhi have found out area of this triangle area of this triangle is half into half into b into h so half into 2 pi into height is what is height 800 to 1200 is 400 so when you will solve it you will get the value of the area and then t mean will be coming out to be 1000 newton meter once you get this value as t mean 
now you can very easily identify the value of delta e because i feel you are aware that delta e is nothing but this area okay so to find out this area once again the area of triangle so delta e is 1 by 2 into if this to this is 2 pi this to this is pi so you will say pi into height will be 1200 minus 1000 it is 200 so this will be delta E, this will be E. You just need to take the ratio. I is given to us, omega mean is given to us. Abhi is saying the answer to be 5%. What about others? Yes. Swapnil, have you done it? Aditya, have you done it? Prefire, have you done it? What will be the answer for this? This is question number 10. Still we are left with 15 more questions. So, yes, the answer is correct. 5% is the right answer. Moving further guys to question number 11. Question number 11 is the flywheel of a machine having weight of 4500 Newton. So, you can see the weight is 4500 Newton. And radius of gyration is given as 2 meter. Has a cyclic fluctuation of speed delta n 125 to 120 only 5 rpm and then we have the acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square the maximum fluctuation of energy you know i omega mean square cs is the maximum fluctuation of energy and i is written as mk square and m is written as weight but a g i feel i have given you everything so, this type of calculative questions are there in the bark. So, that is why intentionally I have taken these questions. Just to solve it and get the answer for this. Solve it and get the answer for this. This is question number 11. Question number 11, guys. Question number 11. Question number 11. Ha, ah, yes, yes, yes. Solgari, I have already given you the way to solve it. You just need to calculate. Nothing more than that. Question number 11 it is. Question number 11 it is. Yes, these are the options in front of you. In Baas, the best thing is questions are of MCQ type. Very good, Abhi, the answer is D. 12,100 Newton meter is the correct answer. Moving further to question number 12, guys. Once again, a similar question is in front of you. Similar question. A flywheel of a steam engine have a radius of gyration of 1 meter. Mass this time directly given is 2000 kg. The starting torque of the engine is 2000 Newton meter. The kinetic energy of the flywheel after 10 seconds. Time is given as 10 seconds and you need to find out the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is half I omega final ka square 10 seconds. Okay. So, my dear, first of all, they have given you the mass, they have given you radius of gyration. So, definitely I is mk square. You can find out I. But we don't know omega final. They are saying has the radius this and the starting torque. Starting torque means what? You can put t is equals to I into alpha. So, from here you will get the value of alpha. Then you know like V is equals to U plus AT. Similarly, we can write Omega final is equals to omega initial plus alpha times of t. Time is given to you. Alpha you can calculate. You will get omega final. Put it here and get the answer. Wonderful question guys. Dear offset is when 
like if you are having this as a mechanism then abhi you can see the sliding motion is happening in this line whereas rotation happens about this they are not in the same line then this gap is said to be offset offset is when two things are not in the same line we call it as offset yes so guys do like and share the session we are reaching to question number 11 sorry 12 this is question number 12 so let us see how many of you give right answer for this this is question number 12 yes so you need to find out first of all alpha after getting alpha you will find out omega final after that you will find out the kinetic energy solve it and get the answer Aditya is saying answer is B and yes, answer is B. Both Aditya and Abhi have given the right answer. Very good. B is correct one. Moving to question number 13. Before that, I would like to tell you that on 5th March at 12 p.m. Guys, if you have your mind to prepare again for gate 24 or ESC 24. So guys, in that case, you have a golden opportunity that appear for test on the 5th March and you can get up to 90% of the scholarship on the preparation programs. So this is a golden opportunity. Even you can inform it to your juniors. They can also get the benefit. Moving to question number 13. This is easy one from the vibrations. Easy one from the vibrations. Easy one from the vibrations easy one from the vibration <laughs> abhi whatever uh, you are learning here if you are getting that properly paper questions are also of that level okay so everything is available on uh, you can say in the classes if you are learning that okay if you have basic idea of maths apt strength of material fluid mechanics you will get very good marks in the scholarship test okay so just appear for it and i would love to have you in the classes okay yes aditya is saying a is the answer you know this is the parallel case so equivalent stiffness is going to be k1 plus k2 the answer is 24 a is correct moving to question number 14 from forced damped vibrations. This question is from forced damped vibration system. Forced damped vibration system. This is from forced damped vibration system. Abhi actually number of coils pay already stiffness is dependent. Okay. So already when stiffness is given to you, that is based on the number of coils only. That is the point. If we are having one spring, one spring like stiffness S, then he says its number of coils are this much after that, after cutting this much, then we will see by number of coils because number of coils and length, they are similar. So I would like to suggest you guys do appear do appear for the test this is option number b everybody of you have uh, downloaded that 100 question pdf which we have made for you guys and tonight you will be getting the answer of those 100 question we are delaying the answer key intentionally so that we want majority of the student are able to solve that so on Monday, we release the paper. Today means Wednesday, we will release the answer key. Saturday, we will release the solution of doubtful questions. Okay, this is the entire plan. So what will be the answer for this question? Let us see how many of you give the right answer. Four damped vibrations. What will be the answer for this? Great Abhi, if you are able to solve more than 50, you are on the safer side. 
till date the cut off varies from 30% to 50% so if you are scoring more than 50 or more than 60 you are on the right track yes solve this question guys they are asking about c and d i feel so c and d so you know this force is f naught and you know at an angle of phi we are having m omega square r then just opposite to that we have spring force and 90 degree we have c omega square a i feel now you can very easily answer No issue abhi, okay, you, you can check the answer tonight. Fine, what will be the answer? What will be the answer? What will be the answer for this? Are bhai, see this si baat hai, C is damping force, D is spring force. D will be the right answer. Moving to question number 15, energy method, question from energy method, you know we can say kinetic energy as half I omega square, we need to assume pure rotation about I center, this is the I center, so I is about A, this is the I center, so potential energy is half k half k x square and you know if it is going to rotate with an angular velocity of omega so whatever be the distance traveled by the center the same will be the displacement of the spring this is x x is r into theta so i feel now you can solve i a is i about this is m r square by 2 for the disc plus perpendicular axis theorem mr square solve this question guys you know total energy needs to be constant you will be having total energy as kinetic energy plus potential energy to be constant solving this you will be saying total energy but a time will be zero this will give you the value of the equation try to solve it Okay, Aditya have said A will be the answer, question number 15 it is and I feel every one of you are saying the right answer only, A is the right answer. This type of question I have already framed in the gate exam also, in engineering services also. This is a question which appeared in all the exams actually. The answer for this is A, that's why you guys were remembering the answer. In BARC you will get 5 to 7 question like that, which you would have seen with the same data at some other place in some previous years of gate or esc or isro etc yes abhi that is also correct that is also correct abhi moving further guys to question number 16 now this is a very good question from vibrations we are still having have nine more question after this a cantilever beam of negligible mass is having a point mass here you need to tell the natural frequency of vibration uh, if the length of the cantilever is getting half okay so you know that for this case omega n is square root of g by delta naught delta naught is static deflection of mass static deflection of mass and delta naught which is static deflection of mass is P L cube upon 3 E I. So you can see that omega n is directly proportional to 1 upon L cube. So they are asking if L will become half, what will omega n will become? Yes, Abhi have answered it as A. Okay, Aditya Free fire, Vinit, Swapnil, what will be your answers? Yes, so dear, actually it is correct only because he is saying that if length is becoming 1 by 2, 
then obviously it will be root 8 times. So answer is A only. Okay, answer is A only. There is no doubt about that. अगर 1 by root 8 भी होता तो chances of wrong ज्यादा हो जाते क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 फ्रॉम गवर्नर नाउ दिस इज फ्रॉम गवर्नर आई हैव कवर्ड ऑल द टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम गवर्नर्स टेल मी द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस यू नीड टू टेल अबाउट द हाइट ऑफ गवर्नर यू नीड टू टेल अबाउट द हाइट ऑफ गवर्नर फॉर व्हाट गवर्नर so guys tomorrow is the session on production tomorrow is the session on production so at what time you want it should be at the same time or at 8 pm 7 pm whenever you want the answer is b as you have answered this is the easiest question but dear from these topics bark asked either no question or easy questions last year they have asked uh, a question on the characteristic of governor so the way they are asking the same i am asking <laughs> yes aditya i will be taking production uh, tomorrow okay for a given fractional change of speed if the displacement of the sleeve is high then governor is said to be if a given fractional change of speed, displacement of the sleeve is more, we will call it as which type of governor? This is question number 18. 18. Yes. means more movement more movement or less change of speed this is sensitiveness C will be the right answer wonderful guys moving to question number 19 Consider the following speed governors. You need to tell, you need to tell how we can use the governors with increase in speed. Out of these, which one is used for the slow speed? Slow to high you need to move. Yes, Abhi, you are correct. I have given those wonderful examples uh, of crime patrol also. I got that. Okay, great. So, Abhi, what I feel is that your identity is uh, in some, you can say, ki, uh, usme hai. Matlab, I am not able to identify. I am not able to identify. I am not able to identify. I am not able to Yes. So free fire is saying C, Aditya is saying C. The answer for this is, guys, for very slow speed, we use what governor? After that, we go to the Porter. After that, we go to the Proel. Then we go to the Hartnell. So those example I use in the theory classes as this is practice session. So in practice session, we are assuming that you already know that. Okay. Yes, great Abhi. <laughs> in that case, maybe I am wrong. Fine. Yes, it is available. Moving to question number 20, guys. Question number 20. A Wilson governor is a spring controlled governor in which the vertical arms of the bell crank lever are fitted with spring balls. A Hartung governor is a spring loaded type of governor in which two bell crank levers are pivoted at the end of two arms. Yes, guys, what will be the answer for this one? This is a question which is out of box, okay? Because this type of questions are like out of syllabus. Because Hartung governor is not in your syllabus. But one to two questions are coming of that type. 
fine fine abhi fine no issues dear i was just saying so now you need to say which of the above statements are correct in a spring controlled gravity governor two bell crank levers are pivoted on the moving sleeve in a boat governor a pair of balls is attached to a spindle with the help of link out of these four which statements are correct question number 20th question number 20th so if you have doubt i will help you in this a will be the right answer for this okay because balls are attached with the arms not with the sleeve that is the mistake in this and in this also you already know that we are connecting the bell crank levers with the fly ball okay so moving further to question number 21 this is from gyroscope now try to answer it correctly this is from gyroscope we are left with four more question after this i feel everybody knows that the gyroscopic couple is given as i omega omega p and omega p can be written as vp by r i have given you the hint i is mk square you just need to put the value and get the answer dear actually in paid and in free what are what are the differences look in paid we teach entire syllabus in free we teach only some specific topic okay that is the first difference okay yes this is i omega omega p second difference is in the paid things are in the structural manner like it is already decided which subject when will be covered on which date which topic will be covered you get esc quiz live quizzes of gate esc doubt doubt session 24 hours doubt resolution so obviously difference rahega what will be the answer for this guys what will be the answer for this what will be the answer for this question number 21 abhi free fire aditya what would be the right answer for this gyroscopic couple ha huh, dear in bark you will be having the online calculator like gate on screen calculator will be there and if you see that uh, dashboard the interface is not exactly as that of gate but it is similar very much similar aditya have given the answer to be a guys okay so i would like to say yes a is the right answer answer is 22.27 kilo newton meter moving to question number 22 once again the same topic gyroscope three more questions to go once again c i omega omega p mass is given to us speed is given to us omega p is also given to us you need to find out the value i is mk square similar question guys ha abhi because in bar also they are taking the questions similar to engineering services isro so they share that kind of options okay you will see some of the previous years question also okay some previous years question will also come you will see that moving to question number 22 try to solve it yes and do like and share the session guys still we are left with three more questions these are the wonderful framed question 
taking care of bark into account and as i already promised you one thing that we are going to provide every monday a set of 100 question okay every monday till the bark exam is over they will help you in practice monday you will get the questions wednesday you will get the answer saturday you will get the solution of doubtful questions uh abhi uh, if you are having that kind of confusion uh, you i will share my contact number you can whatsapp me in that case okay and even uh, for that those 100 question you can share the question number okay so the answer will be coming for this question number 22 you are correct abhi d will be the right answer 9.2 newton meter is the answer so c will be coming out to be 9.2 newton meter Moving to question number 23rd. This is from gears. You need to tell the pitch line velocity. Pitch line velocity. This is nothing but R into omega. You need to tell the answer for this question. Question number 23 it is. Let us see how many of you give the right answer. After that two more questions guys. Tomorrow we have production session. I may take production session in the uh, evening, like maybe at 11 p.m. So be ready for that. Tomorrow is the most important subject coming to you. And we will be having 25 questions of production tomorrow. 11 p.m. will be the time for that. Tell me the answer guys. <laughs> so dear Abhi from that you, you know pi is 3.14 na? Pi is 3.142. So based on that you can answer it. Yes. Very good Aditya Abhi the answer is C 628. Moving to question number 24 the second last question. So guys, I would like to ask you that after these sessions, like tomorrow we will have production and with that we are going to complete these sessions. After this series, do you want uh, some multi-subject sessions or shall we come up with the entire full length? Because we were planning for multi-subjects like one session for design subject, practice session only one session for the thermal subjects one session for the production and industrial nahi pata okay so for this my dear they are asking you the base circle radius okay the base circle radius you are aware of n1 by n2 d2 by d1 r2 by r1 you know that base circle radius is r cos phi so whatever be the ratio of r2 by r1 whatever be the ratio of r2 by r1 the same will be the ratio of rb2 by rb1 because cos phi will be same for both so you just need to find out this ratio and you need to answer what is r1 by r2 which is rb1 by rb2 that is what you need to answer. I have given you the idea. Very good. Very good. Very good. The answer is A for this. Moving to the last question guys. Moving to the last question guys. You already know that. Arc of contact is path of contact by cos phi and I feel they have mentioned the path of contact <coughs> so just need to solve it guys you will get the answer 
you need to find out the value of i the last question from my side for today question number 25 guys so do like and share the session we have come up with 25 wonderful questions of tom and tonight you will get the answers for all the questions of those first pdf yes the answer for this is c 19.8 degree is correct wonderful guys so 19.8 degrees is the correct answer so guys with this we have completed the session now we will be meeting tomorrow at 11 pm for production be ready for that for production okay sure 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 <laughs> हाँ भाई अभी मैं ही था वो ठीक है एट ग्रेड अप आई वॉज देयर ओनली ओके एट दैट टाइम आई वॉज टेकिंग दैट ग्रेड अप इज बिकमिंग बाइजू ना द सेम प्लेटफॉर्म इज बिकमिंग बाइजू इट इज नॉट ए डिफरेंट बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप इज सेम वट इनिशियली ग्रेड अप वॉज ओके सो इट वॉज अ ब्रांड इंटीग्रेशन एक्चुअली सो गुड बाय गाइज फॉर दिस सेशन थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग वी विल मीट अगेन टू मोरो एट इलेवन पी एम फॉर प्रोडक्शन and those who are preparing for gate 24 for them ground zero series is going on so you can go for the lectures of that also goodbye